Midnight Moonlight Lady. This is a CBT lesson for Dennis. Dennis is your first one. And um, nine plus minute song. There was one that was seven, but most of them were nine. And I, I'm not sure what the difference was, but um, the nine minute one, I just wanted to make sure. Um, almost seven pages of tabs. And dude, is this a tough song. Page is epic. He's a genius. And um, that's just the way it is. The tuning in this is Dad Gad. Now we know, you know, most followers of Paige know he experimented with a lot of alternate tuning. It's Dadgad. D-A-D-G-A-D. -A -A so we got three of the same notes. All right. Um, but it creates these beautiful voicings and you don't know them unless you experiment, you know, with it. He does acoustic and electric. I figured I'd use this. Kind of would serve both purposes. Um, a lot of like, uh, just make sure you use the timestamps and listen to Paige play it because the beats, this is tabs, and you know, so we don't have beat counts. I, I have strum directions, you know, down, down, up, down, but um, there's just so many parts in here. So um, I assume you're a pretty good player, man, if you're even taking this song on. Uh, one second in, this is section 1A. It's open E and then go 14 D, open G, B, 14 high E. And then you're gonna check this out, you'll go, 9D, 7G, open B, 9, high E. You're gonna strum that, and then move it up a whole step to 11th fret for the root. It's the same chord shape. And then an open E. Oops. Dang it. And then we're gonna go 6, 4, 0, 6. So we have. And then move it over two frets. So, last three strings, four zero six, or four open six, and then six zero seven, and then an open E. Technically a D, but E string, right? So, two G, four high E, and strum everything. So everything else should be open. And then move that up a whole step to four and six. And he does that twice. That's back to the beginning, so. Oops. I lost it. And then 30 seconds in, section 1B, thumb. We'll cut, we'll cut, cover the 5th fret on the low E, mute the A with your thumb, and then open, open, 5th fret, B and E. And I know Paige is doing this. It's like, it's a... Uh, uh, I'm going to have a little intonation issue here. Because uh, I watched the live. And that's how he's doing it. So you'll go down, down, root note, down, up, root note, strum. So, and then strum, and then go up, and then root, and then down, up, down, up. So it'll be, it won't go back to that, but the next section, section 1C, 37 seconds in, plays off of that. So you'll go um, down, 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 up, and then open A, D, G, B. So you'll go down, up, down, up, and check these chords out. Open A, 2nd fret D and G, 4th fret B, open high E. Here's what it sounds like. So off the opens, down, down, up, down, up, into that chord. And then get rid of the pinky and then make it a second fret B, like an A major chord. And then go right back to the 4B, down, down, up, or go down, 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 up, to this next chord. 
5 E muted D A and then go open 5 open open. It'll sound like this. So the transition that A is dead. And then go to the 4 G. Down, 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 up, and you will see the start of some double dots. But this will be a uh, open, 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 two, open, open. And you'll go two times. And then 3A, 2D, open G, 3B, open E. You'll go up, down, down, go to the 2A, keep everything else down, up, down. Back to the 3A, to the 2A, and then 2, 4 on the low E. Do that twice. Two of those, okay? Um, it's heavier there, with, and you'll see a star there. There'll be a reason for that later that you'll see. Um, section 1D, a minute 33 in, beautiful part. From the top string down, open, 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 two, open, four. You'll go. And then two, open on the high E. And then go five E, muted A, open, open, five, five. And then let that ring as you go four E, seven B. So it's. Let's do it again. Two A open open two B and then go two open on the high E and then open A two D open G four B. Let me see. And then four two on the high E. That goes twice. Really super melodic part. I'm loving that. So we have. Goes two times. Uh, repeat at minute 49 and then section 2A, 215 into the song. This is so eerie and amazing. I mean, mine, this uh, kind of diary of a madman, Randy Rhodes, eerie classical. 11G and 7B. Um, you're going to want to lower your thumb on this, but we got to open E and then we're going to go 11G, 7B, open high E. Okay. Then seven E go seven eight nine working up, and then seven E again. So then go six on the high E or a high E with an open low E. Pick that eight B nine G. So it'll be. So that whole part is very dark. Um, five on the high E, basically go five, six, seven, and we're gonna go E, B, G, B, E, B, G, E. <clears throat> and then our next one, open E, open D. And then two G, five B, four E. It's tough, man, it's a stretch go when you get to the high E then go B G E so do that whole section two times all right got your work cut out for you man this is one of the hardest CBTs I think I've done um, it definitely is section 2b 2 minutes 38 seconds in um, we've got 12 D and 11 G like this and uh, second and index, and then 12 on the high E with the third finger. That's our chord layout. So we're gonna pick E, D, G, B, E. And you go back and forth, toggle on the B and E, like E, B, E, B. So open E will be picked, but you're gonna go 11 on the high E. Um, Open B, 9G, 
So hit the bo both E's together. You'll go. So B or B, dang it. B, G, E, B, G. And then you hit the E now, go hammer 12, pull 11. And now open B, so it's. Our next one, 10th fret on the high E. You're gonna hit a low E with it, and we need a 9G in there. But do the two E's at first, and then go B, G. And then E, B, G, E. So it's, oops. And then 9th fret G, and, or 9th fret D, and 7th fret G. 9th fret high E. Hit the two, the, the D and the E together, and then go B, G, and then E, B, G, E, B. So. Okay, that's it for that. Then you hit some repeats that you'll see notated in your tabs. And then section 2C, 3 minutes 40 seconds in, you'll go open E, open D, and then open E. 2nd fret G, 2nd fret B, follow, or with open B, open D. You're going to slide them to the 4th fret, and then go E, B, G, E. So it's open E, go back to the 2nd fret, strum all 4, and then go 4 E, open B, 4 G, slide to 7. So once you get to 7, You'll be doing 7E, that's a hold, so you're going to hear 7 on the G, slide to 12, and then 12E vibrato, and then open B, 12G. Open D, 10th uh, fret B and E, so just kind of mute the G there. Then go, open D, muted G, 8B, 9E. Strum that. Um, hammer 10, pull 9 on the high E. And then pick the B string on the 8th fret. And then go open, open D, 9E. Open D, 10E, and 10G. Sets you up for this. D and E together. So together, B, G, B, E, B, G. Go to the 9th fret on the high E, and we have 10th fret on the G still. Do this uh, D and E together, and then go B, G, so D and E together on the open 10, so, oops, ah, pluck those again, slide to 14 on the high E. Do the D and the E. Once you get up there, go D and E. And then uh, open B, 14G. E, B. So. so really, you know, you're going to have to sit down and look at these tabs and take a section and just try to get it down. Um, get comfortable with where the chords are, Dennis, and, and let it, you know, come together that way. 358. Top of page four, we got open D, 10 G, muted B, 10 high E, sliding to the seventh fret. You'll go. Strum those four, slide to the fourth fret. Open D, and then this is a hold. 3 E, open B, 3 G. Slide into the fourth fret. And then open B, 4 G. And then go E, B, G, D. Okay, four minutes, three seconds in, you're going to have this. And he actually uses his fingers. Um, it's open D with the thumb, fourth fret on the high E, open B, and fourth fret on the G. And go thumb on the D, and then go E, B, G with the... Uh, ring middle index do it like four times it's just fast that type of thing and then 
go E and 4th fret high E. Open E, 4A, heavy vibrato, open E. Repeat from the double dots that come in at about 3 minutes 40 seconds, play that up to the star. Then you hit section 2D, 4 minutes 22 seconds in, and it's a 7 on the D and E. I would just bar that classical sounding part, hit those together. You can go pick finger, which Paige did a lot, it's hybrid picking, or you can go finger and finger, however you want to do it. And then we need the 9B after that. You'll go. Then move it back a whole step. So we have. Then bar the 4th fret, hit those, and then the 5th fret on the B. Slide up to 14. And once you get there, go 14B, 14A, vibrato. Just crazy parts, little things that don't repeat. This part does though. Back on the sevens. Follow it exactly the same, but when you get to the four, fourth fret bar, we're gonna move that down to the second fret barred and the third fret B. It opens on the D and E. 2B, slide to uh, slide that up. Then go open D, four high E, and the five B. That's a hold. Slide that up, I believe. No, we don't slide that one. Go 4A. And then open B. 